My name is Rob Watkins. I'm the principal here at Southern Zone Middle School, and I just like to welcome you here to the most beautiful middle school, most beautiful school in Beans County. Today, we're here to celebrate the ribbon cutting ceremony for our school based health centers up here at Southern Zone Middle School, Churchill Elementary, and Southern Zone Elementary. And I'd like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Patty Salins, who is instrumental in uh, getting the school based health centers here to Queen Anne's County. <laughs> that are here, um, important people as we always say, the important people need to be recognized. So I want to start off by um, recognizing our board president, Mr. Smith, and we also have two board members here. We have Shannon Bent, and we also have <laughs> So thank you. Without their support, this would absolutely not have happened. Um, so they were the, the key part to that. We also have uh, Commissioner Wilson here, he's representative Commissioner. <laughs> Just enough the amount of support that we get from our commissioners um, and personally thank you for that support we also have all the directors here if they could just raise their hand and, and wave we have dr kibler dr noel we've got dr sprinkles right behind me <laughs> <laughs> um, i think that Jane. and we have jane towers our cfo so again a lot of planning with, with that team to make that work we also have michelle morset here with her partnership has been amazing um, and making sure that the health department was with us the whole way with your great relationship that you have with them. Um, so I, I think, and then we have our principals here. So we have several principals here. Of course, Rob introduced himself. Um, we have Crystal's here from uh, Centerville Middle School. Um, uh, and, and we, yes. <laughs> Susan Walbert from Churchill Elementary School, and then Michelle in her new position um, as the principal at, at Southern Elementary School. So, so we have everybody there. So thank you all for being here. I also would like to recognize our town manager here, um, Virginia Alton. Uh, yes. your name right? Yeah. Yeah. And Mr. John Day, who is a commissioner before. Thank you. And then we also have Mike Arntz here. Mike, if you could just partners, but really we wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for our relationship with Chop Tank. And I honestly, I, I could just cry, to be honest with you, because, you know, we had such a great relationship before and we were able to just move that along. Uh, Dr. Ciotola and I, we met probably the first week I was here. And he said, this is a need in the community. As you're doing your needs assessment, you'll see it. And I said, I can make it happen because I know the people that can make it happen. And, and you have made it happen. And so I'd like to formally introduce the CEO, Sarah Rich from Chop Tank. Yeah. 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 Good afternoon, everybody. Rob, this is a very nice middle school. So yes. thank you. Thank you. We are thrilled to be here with our Chop Tank team. And and join you in taking care of the kids in the school. It's our, really our honor to be here. Um, we know this is where kids are throughout the day, and so providing that medical and dental care right where they are is just critical, and it aligns with our mission as being part of Chop Tank Community Health. So I want to thank Dr. Salins. We've worked on this together with our teams and, and the Board of Education for all of your support to make this happen. It's incredible, um, and again, we're thrilled to be here. Dr. Ciotola. <laughs> Thank you for your partnership and all of your support always in expanding access to care here on the shore and certainly uh, here in Queen Anne's County. And then I want to give a huge thank you to Chrissy Bartz, our Director of Community-Based Programs. She is the one that made this all happen. All the details, all the little pieces that needed to come in, big pieces, <laughs> that needed to come together to make it happen. Thank you and to the rest of our community-based team. So, when we've opened these centers here in Queen Anne's County now, we are up to 18 school-based health centers. Uh, 2019, we saw over 5,500 students on the shore uh, throughout the school-based health centers that we provide support to, and we're so excited to add more students this year and provide access to care in alignment with our mission. So thank you for your partnership, thank you for today, and we look forward to, to working together and taking care of the health of this community.
Um, so how does this new health center affect the county? Uh, this health center has a significant impact on the health and well-being of our students. Specifically, um, this area in Queen Anne's County, without having a hospital um, and lack of health care access, this increases that access for our students during the school day. So that impact is huge because we can meet the students' needs not only academically, but we can also meet their health needs as well, including dental and mental health. And so this facility will be able to um, treat a student, of course, with their parents' permission after they've enrolled in the program, um, but it will also provide parents the opportunity to have their child seen without having to leave work. I wasn't feeling very well at work. I had a cold and I was worried that it was turning into a sinus infection. Um, I tried to call local urgent care and it was about a four hour wait and I didn't want to miss work. So I called over to the Churchill School-Based Health Center. They said, come on by. I got there. Um, I was seen within 10 minutes. I had a prescription emailed to uh, my pharmacy before I even got home for the day. It was really convenient. Didn't miss any time from work. I went on my lunch break. I just think that it's um, a fantastic resource for our students and staff, and I'm really excited um, to be partnering with Chop Tank. What drew you to this project? So our mission, our mission at Chop Tank Community Health is to provide access to care for all. And we know that in this area in Queen Anne's County, that access to primary care medical services, dental services um, are lacking. And so we wanted to do what we could to bring health care to the schools. Yeah, I would just encourage everybody who has a student at Sudlersville Elementary, Sudlersville Middle, and Churchill Elementary to look for their enrollment forms and sign up. Um, being part of the school-based health center is great because they can take care of your child's needs right away. It's wonderful um, when you need it. We can do lab tests in the school. We can send prescriptions to the pharmacy so you can pick your child up, go home, and focus on them getting well. Uh, information's available on our website, choptankhealth.org.